More people who served during the September 11th attacks are now eligible to enroll in the World Trade Center Health Program. Today, the program expanded enrollment to include additional first responders who helped at the Flight 93 site and the Pentagon. Tonight, I spoke with a retired law enforcement member and author who volunteered to respond to the scene of the crash in Shanksville. She's sharing what this means to her and other heroes as she battles her own health issues, PTSD, and depression. Bells rang 40 times to honor the victims who died when United Flight 93 plummeted into a Somerset County field on September 11, 2001, after passengers and crew members voted to fight back against a group of hijackers. It's a hard day, but it gets, e it gets easier in a different way. 23 years later, Lily Leonardi still remembers the smell of jet fuel and burning pine, the eerie quiet, and what she calls a legion of angels protecting the crash site in Shanksville. Leonardi was the community affairs specialist in the FBI's Pittsburgh division. It looked like something out of a horror, you know, like a horror movie that you would you would watch. Uh, but the quiet and the smell were the worst. It creeps into your subconscious or what the trees looked like. There were a lot of humanities, you know, that once were looked like you and I and she became the link between law enforcement and the victims families being in that field changed her forever a few years later I started getting pretty sick I got PTSD and had to go through um, a lot of therapy I have respiratory sinus and I have esophagitis issues around 150 Shanksville responders have enrolled in the World Trade Center health program including Leonardi but more than 1,000 responded to the crash now more people are eligible for the program, including employees of any federal agency and members of the uniform services. They were exposed to the same jet fuel and all those carcinogens. Attorney Michael Barish, managing partner of Barish and McGarry Law Firm, represents dozens of first responders who helped at the Flight 93 site. It boggles the mind that up until today, these responders were not eligible. So I'm so thankful now that all responders are eligible but you have to enroll. Barish says enrollment will give responders access to free medical care for 69 types of cancer and help heal more wounds. The best doctors in the world for linking um, carcinogens from jet fuel and the plastics from the planes that were all being inhaled, those are the doctors at the health program. It would benefit them and their families to, to, to at least have that initial examination. Parish advises people who responded to the 9-11 sites in Shanksville and at the Pentagon to sign up for the World Trade Center Health Program and the Victi Victim Compensations Fund. You don't need a lawyer if you don't want one. You have to prove that you were at one of the sites and get certified with a 9-11 illness.